Scenes of Paralympic athletes competing are interspersed with the words courage, determination, inspiration, and equality. Title, International Paralympic Committee, 1989 to 2014. Sir Philip Craven, IPC President. As I understand it, it all kicked off in one room in Bruges in Belgium. Lean Kudenis. Well, this is my office and this was also the headquarters of the IPC. We shared uh, one typewriter, one computer and a fax machine, which was new technology in those years. Dr. Bob Stedward. We wanted to make it a sports structure, not a disability structure. We wanted to look more at inclusion. We wanted to move to a functional classification. There was a whole series of challenges and opportunities ahead of us that we needed to bring together. For me, it was quite, uh, quite an experience because Everybody around that table had very, very strong opinions and we, we used to call each other friendly enemies. In the end, people could go to the bar and have a good drink, so... Dr. Stedward. And it was during that period of time when we started to work closer and closer with the International Olympic Committee, trying to experience and take advantage of their leadership and the wonderful things that they did in sports. Athletes from multiple Paralympic Games compete in Lillehammer in 1994, Atlanta in 1996, Nagano in 1998, Sydney, Australia in 2000, Salt Lake City in 2002, Athens, Greece in 2004, Torino, Italy in 2006, Beijing, China in 2008, Vancouver, British Columbia in 2010, London, England in 2012, and Sochi, Russia in 2014. The torch is lit, Sir Philip Craven. We have to remain and build upon being an athlete-centered organization. I think the IPC is doing, doing really good, you know, they make it very professional and high quality, so I really think they do a good job. The UN Convention did influence the work of the IPC because it's been written from the point of view of the individual. Wilfried Lemke. All people have the right for sports in their education. Not only persons without disabilities, but also with disabilities. With regard to what have our achievements been, look at Beijing. An official government report said, before the Games, a person with an impairment will be a beggar on the street. After the games, they were a long jumper, they were a wheelchair basketball player, they were a football player. In London, it was just sport, sport and more sport. Give me more sport. That stadium was full from morning till night. What London 2012 did was, was push the, the Paralympic movement, especially in athletics, you know, above what it was before. Emmanuel Asman. NPC France. Thanks to increased media attention, I think the Paralympic Games and Paralympic movement are at a turning point. Can he get the right side of two eggs? Yes, he can! The vision of the IPC is to enable Paralympic athletes to achieve sporting excellence and inspire and excite the world. And we know that we've inspired and excited a good part of the world but now it must become the whole world. A sledge hockey player waves his stick. Skiers cross the finish line and a tennis player holds his racket in the air. Athletes proudly wave their gold medals. International Paralympic Committee.